Good morning, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to my little day in the life vlog. My name is Amarin Svirtsma and I just woke up. <laughs> um, my name is Amarin Svirtsma and I'm a violinist. I sometimes make little videos for YouTube. I'm in a string quartet, the Barbican string quartet. Um, but today I'm working with the Liverpool Philharmonic in Liverpool, so that's why I thought I would take you guys on a little day in my life and I'm still a little bit sleepy so I need to wake up and have breakfast and just <laughs> do that <laughs> see you in a little bit So, my breakfast is ready, I can talk to you guys and eat a little bit, and so yes, I told you already that I'm in Liverpool, playing with the Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra, they're a lovely orchestra, really, really nice people, and um, I've been coming here for probably like three years now or something, and I come to be a guest leader, so that means that I lead the first violin section, but also help the conductor lead the orchestra. This program is for their, I think it's their 25th year anniversary for their modern music ensemble, their ensemble 1010, I believe it's called. Um, so we're playing four modern pieces. One piece is written especially for this occasion by, sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but it's Neneke Cummins. Um, really cool piece, lots of sliding around and they're all very rhythmical um, in their own ways. And this one is kind of, has a good, a good groove, a lot of 5-8 going on. And then we have um, a George Benjamin piece. Um, it's called Three, I think Three Inventions. Not my favorite piece, I have to say, but maybe it'll grow on me. Yesterday was the first rehearsal and today we have our second rehearsal. So you never know, it might get better. It's just very complicated and there's not much to hold on to. Other pieces, Luciano Berio, the folk songs, super, super, super beautiful piece. Go listen to it immediately if you don't know it. I didn't know it before. I might a few days ago. So beautiful with, um, I think it's with soprano, mezzo soprano. Just incredibly beautiful. And which piece am I missing? Ah yes, it's a piece by Tanya Leon and it's called Rhythmikas. Five movements I believe and it's also just groovy and cool and difficult. <laughs> so a lot of notes to play but a super super fun pro project and just it's another way to um yeah work on music it's not the usual kind of symphonies and lots and lots of people smaller groups and um different way of working and so yeah i'm i'm really enjoying it So it's time for a little bit of practice before I go off to work. Got a little bit like half an hour I think now. Um, work starts at 10.30 so I should leave here around 9.30. The walk is about 20 minutes, get a coffee and be on time. Unlike yesterday, <laughs> which I promised I'd tell you guys about but maybe I should do my practice first. Then I promise I'll tell you, okay? It just, it's not that bad, it was just a bit, you know, all the shit kind of hit the fan, but it's really not that bad. Like, there are worse days. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna do my scales like usual, and then play a little bit of the modern, modern, modern notes. <laughs> Wish me luck.
quickly wanted to explain about when I practice fast notes, <laughs> what I do. So in this Tanya Leon piece, which I've been practicing, there's a lot of random sounding, but at least there's a pattern to be found. Um, fast notes, sometimes you just get really random and it's just almost no way to get them into your ear except for just memorizing the pattern um, or non-pattern as, as it is. Um, so yes, this I do in rhythms, then I work it up with the metronome and then play again slow. So I try to get to tempo pretty quickly and then maybe in little bits, so I'll play like in tempo but only a small bit so I'm not like racing after myself the whole time and then repeat it, blah blah blah. So it's a lot of um, <laughs> kind of little practice techniques but if you have to learn something very quickly and get it into your fingers, I think that's the best way instead of just only playing slowly because then, well, at least for me, I'll play slowly and slowly is great and then when it's fast you're like, Yeah, it's been a really busy day. We played all our four pieces and I'm about to just have a bit of time to relax my shoulders. Been doing some emails and I wanted to tell you guys about yesterday. So I took the train at 6.19 in the morning. So got up at 5.30 and that was really too early for me. I tried to go to bed early the, the night before, but you know when you've slept a lot the night before that and then you can't fall asleep? So that happened to me and I was kind of restless, so I fell asleep around midnight and got up at 5.30, which for me is really not enough sleep. Then got on the train, there's already no direct train to Liverpool at the moment because of engineering works and <laughs> that was great. So my app said I had to change at Birmingham, um, which ended up not working because the train was at least an hour delayed and the connection there was completely gone. So I continued on to crew, lots of just problems, the app was showing the wrong times, everything was wrong, wanted to sleep but was just <laughs> so stressed that I would like fall asleep and miss my connection. Stayed awake, listened to this piece that we're learning, Benjamin, George Benjamin, and it's just insane. It kind of sounds like an alien landscape, at least that's how the conductor um, described it today. <laughs> so yes, then finally ran for train and crew that was already a later connection so yeah I was an hour later in Liverpool than I should have been and I made it to the rehearsal two minutes late I was pretty proud that I was that on time because it could have been much worse but no thanks to the Avanti trains and then we rehearsed modern music all day <laughs> so that was yesterday really not that dramatic but it just felt so horrible because it was so early in the morning and yeah, today was just so much better because I was awake. I'm gonna try and get a really good night's sleep tonight too and then hopefully my brain will be in full power mode for tomorrow's concert. Um, but it's really cool, it's a piece by Neneka Cummins. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Really, really nice kind of rhythmic piece. Tanya Leon, also a great piece. And oh, the Berio folk dances. I probably told you guys this yesterday and it'll be boring for the vlog, but I just, love this piece really it's a it's a new thing for me to find and I'm very glad I did see so, yeah. gonna finish some admin stuff and then head to yoga and do some practice tonight with some dinner I ordered pho last night and uh, well actually I picked it up but um, it was very good and I think maybe I might just be so boring and get the same tonight is that too boring 
let me know below if you think it's really boring to get the same food two nights in a row i just yeah it's really good and it's really easy because it's on like the high street that i walk past back from yoga what do you think okay off i go see you in a bit Happy evening <laughs> I've just been lounging here for a while now I spoke to Gabriel and tried to call my brother who did not pick up very rude and I've been watching Dexter and eating lots of <laughs> um, I've been quite bad today with filming I'm kind of out of the out of the habit of filming every minute for you guys um, which is terrible because I forgot to film entering yoga and entering the hall. I think I filmed a minute at the film or not at the Philharmonic, at the Friary where we rehearse. Um, <laughs> but we had a really good day rehearsing. I also wanted to give you guys a little apartment tour, so I'll be doing that in a minute. And just catching you up on my day, which was really good, and yoga was great. I did kind of almost hurt my back, so I was kind of careful. They do this like intense vinyasa style, and then kind of ashtanga styles, it's like lots of quick vinyasas to warm up, and like really quick. And then like a lot of stretching and stuff, which is great, and like posture is really important. I'm um, sorry for you guys, if you don't know yoga at all, it's fine, just disregard this whole little thing. Um, <laughs> but I love doing yoga, I love doing it here in, in Liverpool because I, well, the orchestra days are really long and so therefore, like, after work it's really nice just to have a bit of a break and use my body in a different way and just let it kind of realign itself, it feels really really good after playing the violin all day. So um, I like going here, it's a place called Your Yoga Studio and it's a hot yoga place so if you if that sounds good to you I would definitely recommend it because it's really high quality teaching. Um, yes, so should I do my little apartment tour for you guys? This is um, a place on Airbnb which I've booked and I'm very happy with it. Actually one of the better places I've been to so excuse the mess but we have a violin case over there, kitchen here, kettle, basically there's everything I need. Um, I always enjoy making fun of the art in different places, but this place actually I think has pretty nice art. Um, they even have some plants, probably fake, I haven't tested them, but <laughs> should we give them a try? <laughs> right. Yeah. It's fake, what a surprise. Uh, cute little fridge and I also like they have things like a little blanket there. Um, just these little nice little touches that really help a place. And I have the bedroom. This is where the magic happens. It's not actually because it's just me. <laughs> I always think it's so funny. Do you guys ever watch this AD um, Architectural Digest program where they're like little house tours with famous people? Um, and people always say that as a joke and I always think it's funny every time. So yes, bedroom, wee, unmade bed, terrible. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic, but I liked that when I arrived, they had these little earplugs and eye mask. Hope just it doesn't mean that it's gonna get really loud and it's more art. <laughs> ah, yes, and the little hallway. It's a completely keyless house, so um, means there's little lock pads on the door with with um, codes, which 
I'm liking, it just feels kind of insecure that anybody who has the code could come in at any time, but I try not to think about that too much. And then we have the bathroom. So to turn on the light. Here we go. So there we have the shower. This extremely weird thing. I don't know. Have you guys? I've seen it a few times now. I guess maybe it's just from pressure, but it works really well. But sometimes it just feels a bit weird. It's like you can just turn it cold or hot or I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid about it. <clears throat> um, let's say hi to me in the mirror and random random thing some more fake plants and yeah that's kind of basically it but i've been really happy would give it five stars which i'll do afterwards i love rating things i don't know if i've ever shared that with you guys but <laughs> i'm like the person that's gonna leave a bad review on amazon if i if i hate the product because it's important to like let people know well, it's good. I'll get also leave a good review. I like review th reviewing things on Google and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's my little apartment and... Oh, some more art. Important. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna have a calm evening and tomorrow there's only rehearsal, like a dress rehearsal, later in the day and then we have the concert at night, so... I've got time to practice tomorrow morning. Yes, and then I'll just be having my shower, going to bed, all the boring stuff for you guys. And yeah, I just wanted to say thanks to all of you who have been watching my vlog and my videos and I'd like to do some more kind of violin related stuff for you guys, but I'm always a little bit inspirationless. <laughs> I think probably I'm gonna try to do a next video where I like try out different people's warm-up exercises that they've posted on YouTube and see how I like them. It's not really gonna be like a review type thing but just to like share my thoughts and, and share more about how I warm up in the morning because I think warming up the body is super important and I'm always really interested in like exercises that my friends do, my violinist friends and like just yeah how they prepare their bo body as best they can <laughs> um, for the day ahead. So yeah, but I'd love to hear you guys' inspiration and find if no violinist has watched till the end of this vlog. Then I'll just know I'm terribly unsuccessful. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I know that already. <laughs> um, but yes, let me know your thoughts and what kind of content you'd like to see. And I mean, as you guys know, I'm quite busy these days performing, so I don't always have enough time to make you know regular videos for you guys and I'm very sorry about that but I try my very best and I would also love if you guys <clears throat> make it to a live concert of the quartets or of mine sometimes and you know you can look on the quartet website and come visit and say hello after and yeah it's just always nice to meet people in person that you've met online so yeah thank you guys for watching and if you're not a subscriber yet then you know Always nice if you feel this content is interesting for you that you'd like to subscribe and completely fine also if not because then maybe I'm not interesting enough or maybe you don't need another notification. Um, so yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Bye!